wanting to lastly end the little football segment here talking about the one legend that is harry fucking Maguire has to be spoken about so before the game harry Maguire decided or his pr team or his agent or whoever decided really i think it's a bad decision because i think if you're going to do a press run a little interview thing to kind of give yourself some good press before a big game or before any game the game to do it at would have been um at home to norwich because weirdly enough he did play pretty well against norwich and again it's norwich they're going to get relegated they're probably one of the worst teams in the league anyway in terms of their quality overall but he did play well against them it was probably one of his best games he's played this season he was very commanding very imperious but as per usual or as often that is the case with Maguire, no one questions his ability to play against crappy teams anyone could basically do that but at the highest level he always comes wanting and so far especially in games that have mattered when we've conceded goals maybe he's not always directly involved in us conceding them but he is somewhere within the mix doing making some sort of mistake that leads to a sequence of things that eventually results in a goal all the time it happens and i think the game against liverpool is a good example you couldn't pin all the goals on him but there were individual things that he did that you just maybe thought to yourself like what is a top no 80 million pound defender who's meant to be the captain of the club should be doing such a thing why isn't he commanding his line why is he stepping up on his own why is he always so flat-footed why can't he turn why doesn't he anticipate this all these things come into mind but then I was always, but the other thing that's always, I thought, really disappointing with Maguire, forget his ability to play football, because I don't think something he chooses to do. He doesn't choose to play horrible. It is what it is. We are given with the gifts we're given, we made the best out of it. And it's not his fault. He didn't force the club to pay 80 million for him. He didn't force the club to sign him outright. The club thought he was going to be the best player for the position, and he was going to be somebody that we can maybe pin our defense on and build our you know, spine of our team on. And now it hasn't been the case, but it's not his fault. But the one thing I feel like he really lets himself down is his attitude. He has a real lack of self-awareness, a real lack of personal responsibility, and a real lack of reading the room. And I thought at first it was just his family that were doing it, that were kind of gassing him up because on social media, I think like his family don't do many favors. I think he's got sisters and mums and brothers and stuff and they get online after he's had bad games and they'll start arguing with fans, going back and forth. No, usually when he has good games, they'll start arguing with fans, they'll start putting up memes, sharing stats, all these sorts of things. And obviously they don't help because he has more bad games than he does have good for United, especially in recent years or in recent times, sorry so but now we know through his interviews that it's not his family guessing him he actually guesses himself like he legitimately thinks he's a top top class defender and he can't understand where he gets criticism he gets and this is part of the interview that he gave to sky sports ahead of the game against liverpool that we of course lost where he basically says the following yeah of course i mean uh, i'd say from this season i've had some bad games um I wouldn't be playing every game for Manchester United in the starting 11 if I'd been playing bad every game or not, not playing well enough. There's a reason why both managers have put me in the starting 11 every game um, for what I bring to the team, what I bring to, to the starting 11. Um, but I do also understand that I'm the captain of this club. Um, I cost a lot of money. Um, and when things aren't going well and we're conceding too many goals, I'm going to get criticised. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I'd say from this season, I've had some bad games. What an insane thing to say. Some bad games. You've had a lot of bad games. Also, you would imagine an interview like this. The first thing to say is like, I take a lot of responsibility for the way that we concede goals because I'm the leader. I'm meant to be at the back. I'm meant to be commanding the back line. And there's been a lot of games where I feel like we probably haven't been the, our best you know, in terms of organization, defensive safe and all this stuff, but we're constantly working on it on a training field to get it right so that we can give our midfielders and our attackers the best possible chance to win games because in big games or in games in general, the less goals you concede, the more chance you have of winning games. So I take responsibility of that. It's something I'm actively trying to improve on. Not, I don't have many bad games and the reason, and I wouldn't be playing every week for my United if I wasn't good. No, the reason why you play for my United or any club, any big player club that especially any player that gets signed for a fee that he gets signed for there's somewhat an obligation for the club to 
play you even if sometimes you're not playing well outside of maybe Man City where Pep can do what he wants he can kind of have Grealish on the bench and bring him on for, to kind of waste minutes but most big clubs if you sign a player for that amount of money you're kind of obliged to play him because you spent that amount of money on him you kind of have to get the best out of your resource and hope that he can kind of turn it on or kind of play himself into form then off the back of that when it comes to United we don't have many good centre-backs anyway for whatever reason Harry Maguire has been blessed with the gods he hardly gets injured if ever he misses two games in a row so he's always fit he's an 80 million pound um, centre-back he also plays for England there's no chance he's not ever going to pl not play because he's legitimately maybe the first name on the team sheet that's always available to play but that's not an indication that you're playing well you absolute dullard it doesn't make any sense and also no person is going out there and saying oh as a review of his performances i don't think anyone with sense or with the brain is saying that just because he gets picked by managers that automatically means he's good the whole point of people talking about football and speaking about it like my i am having not played professionally is that from what we can see as fans looking at it from the outside in you are not playing well sometimes managers can have different opinions to fans sometimes they can but the large consensus among the fans base is that he is one of our main issues in that team whether or not Eric Ten Hag can coach it out of him it means to be said but there's clearly an issue there with his performance levels otherwise no one will be talking about it but in whatever land he lives in that doesn't happen there's not such thing as him not playing well and I think that it basically is representative of the entire team and the club right because i can't really be too mean and harsh on maguire because i feel like this sort of attitude is only being tolerated because of the environment that he plays under which is the glazer ownership there is no accountability with the players because in all you know for the all the managers have come after alex ferguson were all fired based on the results on the pitch but no one from the club really player wise was kind of punished for a lack of us feeling into the top four a lack of us winning trophies players don't get punished for it only the managers so it's no surprise that the players feel like they have authority or they can they're entitled or they can you know recommend managers and pick and choose when they play or when they press because the club allows them to run amok and the previous manager only gonna Solskjaer basically said Harry Maguire could do no wrong so it's no surprise that he legitimately thinks he can do no wrong. He was also given the captain's armband under that same manager. So it's no surprise that he also thinks he's such a big time Charlie. But the lack of reading the room and self-awareness is absolutely frightening. But again, it's no surprise. But I'm curious to see how long he stays at the club personally for me. In an ideal world, the way Harry Ten Hag plays football with what we've seen of him in Ajax there isn't any chance that Maguire is going to be the centre-back for him, especially not as a captain. Maybe as somebody to come off the bench, maybe as somebody to play in a specific system. Maybe if you say if you want to play like a back three, like how he plays for England, he could maybe do a job. But in terms of being your number one centre-back, a player that you would build your spine of your team off of, it's, I don't see how Maguire is going to be that guy for us long term. But he is English. He did come under a high transfer fee. So the likelihood of us selling him at any profit it's just impossible and who would want to take him anyway even for an inflated reduced fee or even for a reduced fee sorry it just doesn't make any sense it really is a baffling state of affairs but again we are where we are because of a lack of direction with our owners and everything that they do um but yeah harry Maguire might be one of the worst united captains i've ever seen in recent years everything about him is like everything about him is unlikable the way he plays football to the way he carries himself to how his family interacts with fans online everything and the way he, protect, he gets protected by some members of the press it's just disgusting to see the guy is horrible 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 and nowhere near worth the 80 million we paid for him no way even close and again it's not his fault i get it but god damn it you're shit.